Hi Aries, welcome to your September monthly reading. Um, this is for the sun, moon, and rising sign for the sign of Aries. And this is a general reading. This will be for career, love, and uh, finance. For those of you who, um, I'd like to thank all of you who subscribed, liked, and shared my videos. And to those who have purchased readings and made donations to my channel, I absolutely love doing this for you. Um, please keep in mind this is a general reading and even though it may sound like your personal situation if you would like to get a real personal reading you can go to ascendingsoulsjourney.com at the top you will see a section that is readings and guidance and that is where the selection is for you to choose from now there will be a monthly special but I'm still trying to wrap up my readings from August um, so I've taken it off and I'll put a brand new one up it's a new spread that you guys haven't seen yet um, and that may be later this week or the following week but when you find the selection that you want you can pay for it right there and it has the instructions on what to do at that point moving forward so in regard to career and finance so we have the ace of pentacles nine of swords king of cups the empress the ace of wands and the two of cups so and i will tell you this has been coming out a lot the two of cups so we still have a lot of um, past energy we're still mercury's in retrograde until the fifth and that will continue on through this upcoming week uh, the energies of mercury in retrograde you won't kind of pull out of it until the following week so what I'm asking for is clarification cards on this and uh, funny you got a nine of swords clarification card for the nine of swords so I'm going to relate this to career right now so some of you have just started a brand new career that you feel very emotionally satisfied in or you have an opportunity to start this career but it's causing a lot of anxiety a lot of worry and I hear for this group of you that you're fearing you may not be able to give them what they're asking for the company uh, the organization that you're working for this can be a consultant is can be in a, a large corporation you're worried and <clears throat> You actually do have the passion, creativity, and energy to make this new beginning actually become successful for you. You have what it takes. So the worry, the Nine of Swords represents worrying, right? Anxiety, not being able to sleep at night because you're worried. So what, this is, what I'm hearing is that you do have what it takes to make this opportunity work. Yeah, they said that's all I need. Okay. And in doing this, you're going to create this amazing connection with the company that the bonding is going to be there. Meaning you and your manager are going to click. You and your boss are going to click. You and your partner are going to click. It is going to turn out to be something better than you actually anticipated it to be. There will be reciprocity. There's going to be give and take, meaning if you work overtime, they're going to compensate you for it. If you travel, they will compensate you for it. Um, there's no need to worry. You're worrying a lot. This card has come out twice. So for this group of you, you don't need to worry. It is you have the wheel of fortune as a clarifying card you don't need to worry because your wheels turning for the better okay this is about karma this is about whatever you put forward is going to come back to you now so this new beginning is actually going to be very very rewarding for you for others you may be worried about a job that you're in and you have an opportunity with a brand new company to, to go in a different direction that is going to lead you to um, and this new opportunity is your passion when we do the work that we are passionate about 
the money just kind of follows. And I don't mean, you know, I want to be a pro volleyball player that we all know they don't make any money. That is a hobby. I'm talking about what you're passionate about. So if it was volleyball, then maybe you have an opportunity to be a teacher, to instruct people, a trainer for that particular area in volleyball. You see where I'm going with that. It's your passion that you turn into work, a way to take your passion and make it lucrative. And it will create abundance in your life. Yep. For those of you looking to partner with somebody for your own company, you do have that opportunity coming. There's communication going to come in. You may be waiting for this communication. It is going to come in in the month of September. I'm hearing it's more towards the end of September, so we're looking like the third or fourth week of September. You will be able to create this partnership with this person to start this new company that you wanna start and it's going to be very fruitful. You will need to work a lot, okay? I want you to understand this isn't about, you know, kicking back and not having to do anything. This is a special union, and the two of you, or the group of you that are creating this union, it's going to be imbalanced. There will be reciprocity, meaning not one of you are gonna do more than the other, and it will be very, very uh, successful you will be successful at this, achieving your ultimate goal. So the worrying anxiety is simply your thoughts. You don't need to, to go there with that, okay? Now, in relating this to love, we are looking at, some of you have an opportunity to start a brand new beginning. You have an offer coming in. For some of you, you've got somebody coming back from the past. The worrying is, okay, well, they didn't come. They're not coming. They're not here. I'm waiting for my soulmate. By the way, this card has come out in every single reading I've done so far. Um, you have an opportunity. The communication is going to come. You've been waiting a long time, and that's why you feel so anxious and worried. You've taken that step back. Now what they want you to do is they want you to continue to work on you. The more you are in alignment with yourself, the better this is going to be. And you will have an opportunity. You're gonna have more than one offer. You have three offers here, so I'm hearing two. Two of these are gonna be offers. One is from somebody in the past and one is a brand new one. Yeah. The one in the past, it was not give and take on a fair, fair scale. And they may have had another person involved, so they were giving a little more to the other person than you, and you may have said, that's it, I'm not doing this anymore, and walk away, and you let them know exactly how you feel. You just kind of like threw it out there at them, and you're wondering, did I do the right thing? Are they coming back? Yes, they're coming back and they're emotionally available right now. They are able to give you what you deserve and you deserve a brand new beginning with a solid long-term foundation filled with passion, energy, creativity. This is about, you've got the Ace of Wands twice, so this is about um, action. They're coming in and they're going to, you see the wheel of fortunes here, so it's turning in your favor. So you don't need to worry, all right? As you continue to work on yourself, you're creating a brand new beginning for yourself. You're embodying the energies of the Empress. Now how can the King of Cups say no to the Empress? Vice versa, this is man, there, there's no sex gender here, okay? There's their energies. This person is looking at this person because they believe this person is absolutely beautiful inside and outside, and they want this special union with you. Judgment, judgment is here. It is time. The final call is coming, and you're being guided to move forward with this person, whether it's a new person or a person from the past. The card that's come out for you is new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So for some of you, this is a brand new love opportunity coming in, 
and you are being guided to take it because you're going to create a very beautiful bond with this person like you just click on many different levels so stay out of your thoughts for those of you in a relationship you have and this cards coming out a lot by the way you have an opportunity to to revitalize rebuild you have an opportunity to be have a new beginning within your relationship and yes that is very possible and this is your opportunity to do that in the month of September it's going to be incredibly beautiful so whoever is worrying stop worrying have faith in God above have faith in yourself believe in yourself you are absolutely amazing you're an incredible person and these people they're going to see that very, very soon. So Aries, I hope you have a wonderful September and much love.